So what is this place? Is the, what is the aesthetic quality? Beautiful, sublime, picturesque. It's a place on its slope, it's space left over after planning. It's space left over after planning on the way to sports centres. As I was saying earlier, it, when they were building it, and I used to drive past it, they couldn't get in because of the, the long blue fence. My characterisation of it then was um, an airport in collision with a garden festival. Well, it's still an airport, or that is still an aerodrome. Great big runways. Now, the whole idea was that they would be reduced after the Olympics. The bridges would be narrowed. The space would be allowed to, to, to breathe. That hasn't happened, presumably cost saving. I think they have narrowed them, but <laughs> possibly not enough. The bridges haven't been narrowed at all. They're, 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 they're huge. I mean, today there are loads of crowds for uh, a music festival. And there was space to, to cycle in amongst them. It was modern, postmodern, or whatever. It's an or whatever place. Yeah. It hasn't been designed. George Hargreaves promised flowing lines. He promised uh, a river revealed, valley section uh, reformulated. We're sitting next to the river at a cafe. Can we see the river? No. Can we see the water? No. Can we access the water? No. Can we go up to the water? There's a fence and then there's the water itself is still canalised. There is still a channel, a concrete channel on each edge. Is it enclosed? Is there any spatial design? Come back. No, not really. We're, we're sitting in what we both uh, think is a moderately successful uh, line of um, uh, Oh, Gorka's philosophers we read. This is one of the few places where I, th I, I, th I think you're a little hard there. I think this place outside the cafe is very good. I wouldn't put it any lower than that. I think it's an extremely attractive place to sit. Like you, I'd much rather be able to see the water. I mean, it could it could have been like the city hall in Stockholm, which has got a. A sort of platform garden at water level and that would have been delightful so it's not as good as Stockholm no it's not you've got a view of uh, Zaha Hadid swimming pool but it's not the best view of it is it I mean that slab of blue glass it's also it's got an airport quality really I mean that, that, that could be the arrivals terminal in Kazakhstan on, on the question of spatial design there isn't any spatial well, design well there are two spaces one of them is the watercourse and the, the other is the, um, the spinal route which I liken to an airport but, runway no, it just does not work as a park it works as a, a, a uh, as a way to go through in order to, to go to a place to go to a stadium to go to a, a music festival an event to go to a swimming pool. When reviewing it as an Olympic park, which is what it primarily was, I then described it as being postmodern, but that was mainly a comment on the geometry, which isn't Baroque and isn't um, sort of abstract modern. It, the actual geometry of it, if you look at the drawing, it's, it merits the categorization postmodern. Define. In what way is it postmodern? Well, in Jake's sense, it simply goes beyond modernism. You know, it, it's it's not 19th century, 18th century, or 17th century geometry. It's more 20th century than any of those, and yet it goes beyond them. I mean, there's nothing of the sort of Mondrian-esque geometry that you and I learned as students about it, although there is of course in the cafe that we're sitting which could easily have been inspired by Mondrian. Yeah but the point is it's not, it's not been effectively carried out. The Hargreaves scheme showed flowing lines. Yes. The lines don't flow. No. The, ge mean, the geometry doesn't work. No, there's the, geometry is, the, the geometry is a maladroit geometry. Mm. I think what went wrong with that is that it was too much designed as a client, or possibly as a model, because Hargreaves is keen on the use of models, but they didn't get the scale right. I mean, it's really too big. For the level of complexity in the plan, it's too big. 
it's very wide open. It should be boiled in hot soapy water to shrink it down to a more appropriate size. We're seeing it Hopkins, but uh, one should uh, come back in uh, 30 years' time. No, 100 years' time, let's be fair. Yeah, everybody says that Brown's designs look their best after 100 years, and futurologists are giving us a chance, Robert, so let's, let's not waste it. So what, what will happen in 100 years' time? The trees will grow if they, they remain. Uh, there will probably be more uh, apartment development all the way around. The Central Park idea will become enclosed. Yeah. Then the spaces will become quite small, quite tight, quite congested. I mean, just think what Versailles looked like when it was newly planted. Probably not as good as Brown's designs when they were newly planted, because he was so much better at using existing trees. Or was Versailles cut into a forest? It probably was. And there was lots of trellis work, which was supplying separate special enclosure. I wouldn't compare it with Versailles. I would compare it with Spaghetti Junction and, and Birmingham. <laughs> well, it, it is rather like that. It, it, you, you, you instance when we went round the cycle route, the cycle. Uh, Velodrome. Velodrome thing. Um, when one meets roads, you become a, you enter a nowheresville, which could be anywhere. It says here. Does the park, park design respond to the genius locus? A resounding no. This is not East London. Too much has been thrown away. Not enough has been... We've got four or five hundred years of, of industrial history here. Yeah? Yeah, I, I very much agree with that. In, in, in the month after the site was first chosen, I came here and spent a day cycling round and I took about 500 photographs. And I can hardly match up one before and after because almost everything has gone. The old industrial vernacular, the, 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 the bits of rusty iron, the, the vegetation, the, a lot of the, the cast iron work, it's all gone. It's not, gone. A, not a facelift, not a Botox mm. job, it's mm. been a total re, re-stripping. And I asked the design team about it, and what they said is that, oh, there was just so, so much going on that it wasn't practical to keep any of it. But any I, of it. I believe, that's what they said, any but I, I believe that if they'd had English heritage archaeologists coming round and saying, this is important, you will keep it, I think they would have said, yes, it will be done, and they would have done it. It was laziness. Well, my uh, example of the... Um, uh, allotments which are on the site of the, the, the wetlands, uh, you see, could have easily been kept. Yeah. And another thought that I've long had about it is that the, the landscape planning was much better than the landscape design. By that I mean that it's very well connected into the neighbourhood, which far too many public open spaces aren't, and the, the general plan to de-channelise the river and convert it into an ecological area which is also beautiful was a very worthy thing to do. And another thing, when, worthy, you, when you look at... A worthy at thing <laughs> succeeded. We've got a list here. Is there more biomass? Is there more biodiversity? Are there more habitats than were here before? Probably. You can remember it better as it was before. <laughs> There's more green space just in terms of hectares and so that's obviously a contribution to biodiversity and probably the spaces are also more biodiverse, a greater range of habitat types. Greater range of habitat types? I would have thought so, yes. I, I, I think that although there was quite a lot of semi-wild vegetation before, it was mainly Hawthorn, bramble, willow herb, perhaps some birch, perhaps some alder. And I think that was pretty uniform throughout the area. I don't see why it shouldn't have been kept where feasible. There was quite a lot of it. We're describing this as an unenclosed park. Is this parkland? Have we seen much parkland today? It's not parkland in the sense that Brown knew parkland. And I haven't seen any any cows or any sheep, which I would very much like to have seen. Have we seen any garden? Well, there's garden-type planting. There's quite a lot of that. I mean, just in front of the cafe where we're sitting, there's a sort of 
um, riverside garden, but it's garden planting Inci- without uh, being a garden. Which you can't see in the main. No, you can't. You just, see, just see the very <laughs> tops of it. If, if, if you want to be pernickety, Robert, then yes. <laughs> So where can you see it from? Well, if, if you walk along the riverside, rather than being in front of the cafe, then you can see both the garden-type planting, which isn't a garden, and also the, the river that doesn't have a riverside. On another line of thought, this place is attracting people. It's new. Yes, it's a, it's pl- definitely it's new. a wet Sunday. Yeah. And you, you We've been passing crowds. Yes. We've been pra- 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 passing crowds going to the... Uh, music festival yeah. that's on today, mm-hmm. and uh, the, ca- the cafe, the cafe is full. Well, that Inside might be because it's, it's raining. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, we've gone through children's play areas, which have been full of people. So something is working. It's attracting yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you compare it to a London suburban park, I mean, like Avery Hill Park, which we both know, then it's the use intensity is comparatively very high. Yeah, but if you compare it to the central royal parks, it's low. No, it's not, it's not very low, but it's below. below. Well, I'd compare it to somewhere a little bit more, uh, to Dulwich Park, which has high intensity use. Um, and and Clissold Park is, is well used as well. Yeah. But when, when I was talking about the, the landscape planning successes, the third of them, which I didn't get, get round to, is that it has a well-defined role. Instead of just being considered green space, which many London parks are, it's got, which I think has always been necessary, a specific role, a sport and event park. And since sport is wildly popular in London, I think that was a, a very good thing to do. It's a sports park. Yep. Mm. And, and an event park as well. <laughs> So we've looked at the aesthetic condition and judged it, well, you say, how, 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 would, you, how would you grade it? Five out of ten. Five out of ten. And we've looked at the, the social role, how would you grade that? There I suspect it's working better than it might have done. We've seen lots of young people today because of the, uh, the music event. Uh, we've seen lots of uh, older people today. What about the comparison with the Crystal Palace, which is a very natural comparison to make, since the Crystal Palace, having been originally designed as a, a public park and then become a sport park, is the use intensity comparable to the Crystal Palace? The point about Crystal Palace is you can drive to the, into the middle of it, which obviously destroys it as a park. Well, here you can't drive into the middle. Well, except there's a motorway going through the centre of it. <laughs> but it is very well, very, very well connected with, with public transport. The Crystal Palace, or, or oh, here. here? This, this is be- better connected than uh, Crystal Palace. Well, it's, of course, it's well connected to Stratford, which is both yeah. an important yeah. transport hub and also a, a very important regional shopping centre. Yeah. I would like to see this as a place which could be developed further. Yeah. I think it needs, an, uh, it needs yeah. another think, a rethink, mm-hmm. in 10 or 20 mm-hmm. years' time. Well, best of all, what it needs is a, a strong team of landscape architects to manage the park. Instead of treating it as an ongoing operation where you maintain its present condition, it should be an ongoing development project for the next 50 years, really. A success as a park for the three weeks uh, Olympics, my view is not a success as a park design for now, but it provides an opportunity to do something more. What that more is, one can't say. When you say not a success as a design, I think what you probably mean is not a, a success as a work of art. But then one could argue that that wouldn't be a very appropriate thing to do for sport. I think all the pieces have been thrown on the the table. There are elements here that could be developed further, but it's not been composed, the spaces haven't been created. There's a possibility to do that, and and I don't think in terms of its originator's ambition, it's a success that it was intended to be. But 
it could be a different sort, sort of success. The other thing I think it very much needs going forward is uh, an event management program. You know, it's an event space and if they were really imaginative and entrepreneurial in, in managing the events, I mean, for example, that gigantically oversized bridge in the northern part of the park, that would be really good for Sunday markets. You know, we could have a, a food market one week and a book market the next week and antique furniture the week after. I mean, there could be a whole series of weekly markets on that space, couldn't there? This is a park which is part of a, a catalytic process, re regeneration. For East London, London. yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's pro providing um, an element of that, that ca uh, uh, catalyst, catalyst in uh, a very simple way. It's providing green, it's providing food, and it's providing uh, some sort of comfort, at least we're in the, uh, out of the rain at the, mo the, 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 the moment. And it's providing an opportunity. Well, let, let's just conclude with what you said, which is that they should regard it as a good first step towards a wonderful landscape design, but it's got another 50 years' work to make it as wonderful as it should be.